I'm Sage Grayson, and I help ambitious career women edit their habits, routines, and mindsets to balance their happiness at work and home. I'm a life editor, and so are you. Today, I'm going to share 12 inspired ways that you can leverage what you've got in your business. Let's go. If you're an entrepreneur, then you know how much blood, sweat, and tears go into everything that you create for your business. You've got to design your products and services, write your blog contact, interact with your clients, uh, be social on social media, and then do all the other admin tasks that help keep your business running smoothly. And sometimes it might feel like you're making this tremendous effort to provide amazing experiences for your customers, but you're just never getting a break. Instead of basking in your success and letting things sell while you sleep, as they say, you're hustling all the time to promote the next bit of epic content or to get the next sale. It's exhausting, and honestly, it's a waste of your time. Instead of becoming a hamster on a wheel, uh, where you're the hamster and your business is the wheel, why not be strategic with your time and energy and leverage what you've got? Leveraging means using what you've already created in a new and different way, maybe in multiple new ways. The hard work is done, so you can take the finished product and present it in a new way that can generate more money for you. Your income and your inventory grow without you having to clone yourself. Here are 12 inspiring ways that you can leverage what you've got in your business. Blog posts. Let's start with your blog posts. They're an excellent way for you to position yourself as an expert, and they give you something to share in your newsletter and on social media. But that's not where their usefulness ends. Bundle your blog posts together to create a paid workbook about a specific topic, such as recipes or organizing tips. You might even add a new worksheet or two. Okay, so why would your readers pay for this information that they can find for free on your blog? Because no one wants to scroll through your archives for hours to find what they need. Ain't nobody got time for that. Bundle your blog post together and make it easy on your customers and you. Number two, repurpose your blog posts as short podcast episodes. We're all unique individuals and we all learn in different ways. Some people prefer written blog posts, some people prefer podcasts, and some people prefer videos. Record yourself reading your old blog posts as short podcast episodes. It's an easy way for your followers to absorb your information while they do other things. Number three, create a free video series leading to a larger offering. If you're getting ready to release an expensive offering like a group program or tickets for a live event, gather up all of your old blog posts that directly relate to whatever the topic of that larger offering is. So gather up all of your marketing blog posts if you're releasing a business course. Then record short videos using those old blog posts as your script. Physical products. You can even leverage what you've got if you create physical products in your business, such as jewelry or art. Number four, bundle your old products that aren't selling well and offer them at a discount during a retirement sale. It's a nice way for your customers to get a good deal and for you to get rid of old inventory. Number five, take photos of your creation process and offer it as a paid tutorial. You can sell a PDF or a video of your step-by-step -step process that you use for creating your products. And it's perfect for people who would rather do it themselves. Number six, create a subscription or of the month club. If you feel like you're waiting forever between sales and your products are just sitting there, create a subscription that guarantees that you're going to get paid consistently every month. 
your subscribers sign up for an automated payment plan where they pay you once a month and then you get this stable routine and the consistency of producing and delivering your products every month. Client calls. Talking with your clients through coaching calls or consultations is an awesome way for you to get more usable content. Number seven, collect testimonials. If your client says anything positive about you or your business while you're on the call with them, immediately write it down and ask them if you can use it as a testimonial. Don't wait until you're finished working with that client. Do it in the moment. Number eight, find blog post ideas. Whenever I'm on a client call, I have a sticky note next to me where I write down any ideas for blog posts that come up during the conversation. So if one of your clients is struggling with something, there are probably other people who could benefit from your advice. Number nine, use your clients as beta testers. Launching a new product or service or group program can be a little scary. So take advantage of your current clients and get them to test out whatever it is before you release it. You'll get amazing feedback and you'll be able to make edits to whatever it is before the actual release date. Plus, you'll get early testimonials. Live events. Live events are a gold mine of untapped content. This is your chance to get oodles and oodles of high quality material that you can leverage again and again. Number 10, record the sessions and repurpose the videos. You can reuse the videos as marketing materials on the sales page when you're selling tickets for next year's event. Or you can splice up the videos into short segments and then use them as video blogs or as a paid video series. Number 11, create a paid streaming product. While you're on stage presenting at the event, have someone on your team video record it and live stream it to paying customers online who couldn't travel to the event. These streaming products are super popular and they help you get sales from a wider audience. Number 12, gather live video testimonials. The people who attend your live events are your most loyal fans. Of course you should get video testimonials of them enjoying all the good stuff that you have to offer. Testimonials are helpful on your sales pages, in your newsletter, and on social media. That's it. Those are 12 inspiring ways that you can leverage what you've got in your business. I hope this video gave you the push to use your business content multiple times for multiple benefits. How do you leverage what you've got in your business? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And then come on over to sagegrayson.com and sign up for my editor's toolkit. You'll get free worksheets, ebooks, weekly updates, and sage advice from me that I only share in email. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.